Tonight we begin with BRPD who has a person of interest in connection with two recent shootings. This comes after published reports of a serial killer targeting African American men. Social activist Gary Chambers who publishes the Rouge Collection offered these comments in reference to that report. The need to not try to make things hysterical, make people hysterical about the situation, but I do think we owe it to the public to give them the precautions necessary to make sure that they're vigilant and watching their surroundings. I mean, we had a homeless man that was killed one night and then a man who was walking to work that was killed another night. Completely random shootings. Um, and if they are connected, then what's next? And, and so for me, um, my, my hope is that people are just vigilant and watching their surroundings. Again, BRPD is questioning a person of interest. The investigation into the seven shootings in the past week is still ongoing. Again, anyone with any information about any shootings are urged to call Crime Stoppers at 344 STOP. Well, with the recent uptick in crime on the streets of Baton Rouge, the church community is focused on resolutions. A call for prayer was held today at Elm Grove Baptist Church as community leaders and residents gathered to reflect on what is happening in the city, state, and country. The service was led by community pastors Dr. Elrol Domingue and Dr. Mary Moss. Louisiana State Representatives Garrett Graves, along with several political leaders, hosted Service Academy Day here in the capital city. The event gave high school students from throughout the state an opportunity to explore the possibility of furthering their education at one of the United States Service Academies after graduating high school. Graves says he hopes students from the state can take advantage of this experience. Some of the top uh, business leaders, some of the top community leaders, some of the top political leaders in this nation are graduates of the military academy. So just giving folks from Louisiana, giving students from Louisiana the opportunity to have that edge by getting this incredible education, uh, having the opportunity from the camaraderie, the opportunity to engage with top military and political leaders from around the United States and around the world, uh, just a, an amazing education. And, uh, and, and the fact that these people can go on to serve the country and really be prepared uh, for the future. Senator Bill Cassidy will host another Service Academy Day event in Bossier City on September 23rd. Louisiana State University has suspended all fraternity activities after an 18-year-old freshman died in what authorities called a potential hazing incident. NBC's Miguel Amaguere reports. Tonight at Louisiana State University, the Phi Delta Theta fraternity house is a crime scene as all Greek activity on campus is now suspended. It comes as police investigate the possible hazing death of 18-year-old Maxwell Groover, a freshman rushed to a Baton Rouge hospital Thursday. As we have continually warned over and over again, hazing is dangerous, irresponsible, and unacceptable. According to a preliminary autopsy report, Groover had a highly elevated blood alcohol level plus the presence of THC found in marijuana. No arrests have been made on a campus overcome with shock and sadness. I didn't really even know what to think because it was just so sad. With the national chapter of Phi Delta Theta investigating the LSU house, charters across the country have racked up dozens of violations for breaking rules. The investigation at LSU follows the high-profile hazing death of Penn State student Timothy Piazza. One death is too much, but recently we've had several with now with, with Penn State, now with LSU, and who's next? Tonight, Greek life is again at the center of a potential criminal investigation, this time for a student who was a freshman for only 24 days. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News. Now, Morgan is here with us with a preview with, with, with sports, and of yeah. course, this is nothing what, you know, LSU would, you know, wanted with, yeah. with the package that we just recently saw. Yeah, football-wise, uh, definitely not what the team wanted tonight. Opening up SEC play against Mississippi State, expectations for this team sky high, ranked 12th overall. Uh, this is about as much fight as you see from the Tigers all day, folks, and I'm not trying to be... Thank you, Morgan. Each week, we highlight someone in the community who's Baton Rouge proud, and this week, we'll introduce you to a man affectionately referred to as Big Brown. Local 33's Chad Sabney has more on the story. James Big Brown Joseph delivering packages throughout our local community is a joy. 
the people are awesome. I mean, you're bringing them a package just like a child. <laughs> you're bringing a toy for Christmas, man. They're excited to see that package, man. We all, as a UPS uh, driver, we always try to give our customers the best that they possibly can get. And earlier this year, Big Brown received a huge national honor from UPS, the Jim Casey Award for his community service. Means a lot is um, of all the work that we've done in this uh, city and as well as uh, the, the parish around the state of Louisiana. It's, it's really showing that the things that we're doing. Like helping in local schools and with the Beat the Heat air conditioning campaign, Big Brown stays busy. He was also front and center during last summer's unity events, including post shootings and post flooding. Family working together. We were all together during the flood. We were saving each other lives. It didn't matter what color skin you were. It was just basically saving someone's life. And that's what Baton Rouge has always been about. And his work helping others continues following recent devastation from Hurricane Harvey. We're here for you. Um, so, and we're going to continue to be there for you. In fact, uh, we're doing stuff at this present time. In fact, uh, if you would like to donate, to uh, Big Brown Cares. Uh, you can donate to Big Brown Cares. We're going to Lake Charles and Houston, I mean, Lake Charles and Beaumont. We're mm -hmm. bringing sheetrock because people need to start getting back in their houses. We're trying to rebuild these people's houses. They done gutted their houses out and they're trying to get back in their houses. And that's what we try to help them do. Congrats to James Big Brown Joseph, who is Baton Rouge proud. Reporting for Local 33, I'm Chad Sabaty. And to donate to Big Brown Cares, you can contact the Baton Rouge Area Foundation at 255-931-2813. You know, it's great to see someone oh, in the yes. community doing great things, you know, out really out in the community. You That's know? right. Congratulations to Big Brown. And for all those stargazers out there, something happening in the sky in the morning at 6 